everyone, welcome to today's restaurant show. And we have got not just some great eating, we've got a lot of learning ahead. I'm so excited. Um, the chefs are coming in. We have the chef uh, from Salty Dog and The Wreck, Herb Britton. He's gonna show us how to make some wonderful stuffed flounder. And then we're going to head over to Beaufort. We're going to meet with Southern Graces, uh, Chef Beth and Chef Chris, and they're going to show us how to make some of their signature items off their brunch at the Beaufort Inn. Can't wait to see that. And then we're going to finish up actually with uh, Chef Paul Donatello from Panini's On the Water, and he's going to show us an easy and really delicious way to make linguines and clams. So please stay tuned for a lot of great learning and a lot of great eating ahead. Hi everyone, welcome to the restaurant show and we are starting things off right today. We have Chef Herb Britton from The Salty Dog, The Wreck. I mean, you're the whole kit and caboodle down there, right? That's the rumor, that's the <laughs> that's rumor. The rumor. That's, <laughs> that's what they put on your shirt, right? <laughs> right. Um, but, but today, I mean, just to, let's, re let's reiterate what's going on down there because it is fall. It's a yep. different time of year, guys. You, we all know that um, down here in the low country. Tell us what's open and when. I know first let's go Salty Dog. Gotcha. Salty Dog is uh, is open for lunch and dinner. Okay. We've uh, basically got the same hours. Okay. Okay. Um, what is a little different is uh, the wreck of the Salty Dog's closed for lunch. So we have all the restaurants open, but gotcha. the the wreck and uh, Lands End Tavern are open for lunch, and the wreck is specifically dinner. A dinner, and that's what we're going to talk about today because mm -hmm. you actually have a you have the regular menu, but you also have a prefix menu. Yes, we do. Wonderful and. I get, I'm guessing this is probably one of your top sellers it, here. It definitely All is. All right, what are we making today, is. Chef? We're going to be doing the baked stuff flounder. And that's what this is right here. Okay. It is. And uh, what we do is uh, is ours is stuffed with uh, with our same crab cake recipe. Yeah, because I was going to say, that is, I want to just pull this over here while yeah. you're working it. Um, that is gorgeous. I mean, look at the lump of crab there. Yeah. I and know, that looks so this good. This is something that's so <laughs> easy to do at home, in it, but it sounds so complicated. People are kind of scared to do a stuffed something yeah. and this yeah. and that. Yeah, I agree. But it uh, it comes out really well. And now this is just a good old piece of flounder. It yes, already has bone out, skinned. It's all it's easy. This is a fillet, Absolutely. I guess. Absolutely. Fillet, yeah. skin offs, uh, mm -hmm. bones are removed. Right. Everything. OK. Um, so what I like to do is I like to have a little base for uh, for the crab cake. So what I'll do is I'll take the back uh, the back tail part off of okay. the flounder, and then that'll be kind of like my uh, my starting point. Okay. And then I'll get the crab cake and kind of oh. kind of mold it on oh, there. Oh, okay. So just you're like that. you're using the smaller one that you just cut off just for the base of mm -hmm. it. Because you don't want something too thick. Right. On the right. 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 Okay. Um, so then with the uh, with the top of the flounder is I'll just make an incision right here, just like that, and then I'll wrap that right over the flounder. Oh. And as I'm doing this, I'll put it right onto a little sheet tray or a baking pan. I pan. love it. That was so easy. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, and people yeah. don't people don't understand how easy okay, that is. Okay, break it apart one more time. Let's just show them really quick. So there is the end piece that yep, you just cut off. Yeah, the end piece coming off there. Okay, easy. And then uh, our crab cake and recipe. And whatever stuffing it is, it right. might not be crab cake. Absolutely. I mean, down south, a cornbread stuffing, yes. a shrimp. I if mean, you're lucky, it's crab cake. Yeah, or, exactly. if you go, or if you go to the rack, it's going to be crab cake. <laughs> right. But if you're at home, you could do it with whatever the stuffing is that you want. Absolutely. Right? Okay. Or what's affordable for you at home if you want right. to make try something different. And then I just like to have, so you see the stuffing. Yeah, I love it. Plus it helps it uh, cook a little bit more that's evenly great. too. Yes, and, and that's another reason why you want the um, thinner uh, piece on the bottom. Right, exactly. So this will cook, uh, exactly. it'll be better cook. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Would you also suggest that whatever you are putting as your stuffing, that it is already cooked? It's something uh, that's it, already... You know what, it it definitely saves on time yeah. and just knowing Safety that... Safety that, that it's exactly. cooked. Okay, that's good. That's for sure. Good tip, good tip. Yep. Okay, so now what are we doing with now, it? Now, this is some... I know that's not it, because <laughs> I, know, I know there's a lot more that goes into you at the, at the wreck. <laughs> we take our croutons and okay. we grind our croutons oh, up to make it a little, uh, yeah. just a little breading. And that, I'll, uh, that I'll nice sprinkle crunch. that... Sprinkle that on there. Give it like a little, a little bit of a layer. You don't want it too, uh, too heavy. Too heavy. I like that crunch to it though. And uh, I always just a little, just a little salt and pepper. Okay, good deal. And good then deal. I have, uh, I have Old Bay. Oh, and yeah. I like to sprinkle, sprinkle the top with Old Bay like that. I find that a lot of people, Old Bay is just a great seasoning to use when you're working with seafood. Whether you're steaming, definitely. whether you're boiling, whether you're uh, boiling, it's just a nice seasoning to it have. It definitely gives food. a good flavor. And it's easily accessible too, so. And so at this point, I would uh, I would top, top it with like a couple, two pats of butter. Yeah. Put it in the oven at 350 three, and about, three if you want. Say, uh, say eight to ten minutes. Right, and then, ta-da, TV land. <laughs> I'm going to put this over ta -ta. here. <laughs> Oh, that looks delicious. And so here it is, uh, here it is cooked. Right, right, right. And right. Uh, to plate, what I would do That's a is... very, so now tell me a little bit about the, what comes with your prefix. 
Uh, with our prefix menu, you get to uh, choose from a super salad. Okay. Um, our uh, our entrees, which Entree. will have a list of five entrees. Okay. And then we have desserts: our key lime pie, our peanut butter pie, which... and we're doing a Bailey's uh, creme brulee. Oh, oh, that is that sounds incredible. so good. So you get all of that. Okay, what else do you get with your you entree? Get, what, what do we get that, with it? Right here, we've got a, uh, mm, a garlic mashed good. potatoes. Yes, that looks so, so good. So we'll. Uh, Nice. Dump as much as we can yeah. on there, right? <laughs> that looks delicious. And then I have our and mixed... your healthy part of it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just so it looks like you're, I, you know. That eating. is a great. <laughs> that's a great entree right there. Yeah. And that... I've already at this point, I've already had my super salad too, right? Right. Exactly. Wow, that looks delicious. And uh, for our sauce, I didn't want to come up with something too complicated. And right. you know how soups are like a large sauce. Yes, and they so sure are. So I've got our she crab. Is our, oh, is our soup. nice chef. Good and, touch. You know, it's kind of like using stuff that's around in a different way. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, it turns out so nice. And people love your she crab soup. Yeah, exactly. So why so not figured. put on it? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. And here's a little uh, little chopped parsley. Of course. And that's always nice, I think, even at home. Oh, if absolutely. If you have it, just it makes it feel fancy. <laughs> definitely, definitely. That looks and, uh, great. I always put a little. Of course, yeah, a little bit of citrus. A little bit of lemon. And that always that always adds that nice little brightness. Look at that. That is gorgeous, chef. And this is one of your most popular um, entrees anyway, isn't it? But Absolutely. It's, but it's actually on your prefix yep, menu. Yeah, when we put that on the prefix menu at first, uh, it sold so well that it's one of those mainstays. That just one of those yeah. Ones that I love when you for, find one of those. On yeah. Oh yeah. I, I love it. Perfect, I love it. it? <laughs> now, um, when is how long is your prefix menu going to be available? Uh, it's uh, we're open at the rec Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday it's through open, Saturday. It's okay. open. Uh, we're open from four till nine. Okay. And it's available every day. Every Nineteen ninety nine. Wow, that Tuesday. is great. Mm -hmm. And you and it's actually three courses, um, because you are going to get a super salad, this beautiful entree, and then an even more delicious dessert. And That's that right. key lime pie is really good too. <laughs> um, okay. And then real quick, I know we're going to start running out of time soon, but um, what do you have? I mean, this is this time of year. You guys are having events left and right. What are some of your events that are coming up? Yep, just about every weekend coming up. We've got a, uh, a craft beer and barbecue. Nice. We're going to be doing that ribs sounds up and my brisket. Alley. Yeah, I might need you to actually <laughs> that come. That sounds up my alley. <laughs> I might have to check it out. <laughs> I love it. And that's when do you, and then you have oyster roast. I know you have oyster, oyster roast. Oyster roast is coming up. We have a haunted barbecue. I know. A uh, fall fest when we'll do like a, almost like a, a outdoor fair area. And can you check it out online, right? You yep, can check it out online. online. Saltydog.com. You can look at our calendar of events. And check out their new channel t-shirts too. I know we need to talk about that. We, we always save that for last. But um, please check them out. It's a whole new um, atmosphere as far as it's the fall time right. at the Salty Dog and down there in South Beach in uh, Sea Pines. And a prefix menu at the rec and of course all their events coming up. Thank you so much for showing Thank us you. and showing us a few tips on that uh, stuff flounder. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. Thank you so much, Chef, for those great tips on making stuffed flounder and the great prefix menu that you guys have available. Now we're going to switch up gears and we are going to head over to Beaufort and we're going to do some brunch items. So stay tuned with Southern Graces coming up ahead. <laughs>